What's up guys, this is Deadly Cyclone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at one of the skins that I think is the most rare that most people don't talk about, along with go through my locker and look at some of the oldest skins I have to see what they are, if you guys have them, what I think about them. So this is Kelsier. He is from the Mistborn series of books by Brandon Sanderson, and this is I think one of the only, if not the only, book-based character in Fortnite. I think somebody at Epic was a fan of Brandon Sanderson or knew him and reached out and said hey let's get him in the game. So I believe he only came out one time only and he's never been back since. I get a lot of comments on my videos saying what skin are you using? So here he is. He is a great character from a really cool series that has a neat magic system based on metals and powers based on vials of metals that you can see along his pouch there. So the skin comes with a bunch of different things. You see his vials on his pouch here. His skin comes with the spikes on the back and I believe there might be one other item with it. But as you can see, I've kind of outfitted what I think goes best with him. So I think obviously those are a good choice for a back bling. Another good back bling idea is the John Wick coin because coins play a lot into the series. I also think the new Magneto stuff that just came out this week is really cool based on the metal aspect of the magic system in the books. So I'm using that for the pickaxe. He did come with his own pickaxe. It's the glass daggers that he uses in the book. But I think the Magneto stuff is cool. I'm also using the Chromebrella that came out. Oh, I don't even remember. I think it was a chapter or two ago during the chrome season. The spectral essence, of course, just because it kind of matches and looks cool. So I've kind of built him as I have him. I do wish that they would either bring him back or bring the female version of him in the books, whose name is Vin, which I actually have a tattoo of. That would be great to get her in the game as well, or bring some skins from his Stormlight Archive series. But if you haven't read Mistborn, Highly recommend it. Really easy to get into book series that has a really cool magic system. As I said, based on drinking vials of metal that give you different abilities based on which one you burn. Mistborns in the book can burn all of the metals, but there are other characters that can only burn one of the metals and, you know, it gives them better vision or hearing. Mistborn in the books can do all of them, which makes them kind of superheroes of a sort. So the books deal with rebellion and all of that, but you're not here for that. This is the Kelsier skin, though, and I really like him. I think he's one of my favorite skins. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about him. We're also going to dig into and take a look at some of the other skins I have. So we'll jump right in and see what the rest of my skins are. We'll make sure we're sorted here by season. Now you guys may have a lot of these. I don't have Renegade Raider. That was the one season I think I didn't play very much of. I still don't like that they put these Coachella skins at the bottom. That's still a bug that needs to be fixed. Don't get me started on that. But you can see I have a lot of the older skins that did come out back when Fortnite started in 2017. First one, Blue Team Leader. I think she was a PlayStation exclusive skin, probably the first one. I really like this skin. Very clean, very good aesthetic. War Paint. I think was either a PlayStation or a Twitch skin. Sub Commander was definitely the first Twitch skin they came out with, which I don't know why they don't do that anymore. The Twitch drops for skins is a really cool idea, and I think they don't utilize it as much as they totally could to get people watching stuff like FNCS, content creators on Twitch, and more. They need to do more of those, so if you're listening, Epic, do that. Rust Lord, the OG from um, the Battle Pass. We've got Rose Team Leader. I think she was also a Twitch skin. Some of these I really can't remember because they were so long ago, but she's definitely a clean one. Rogue Agent is one I see a lot of OGs use, and then of course you got both astronaut skins that were Battle Pass skins. Midnight Ops has been back to the shop, so has Highland Warrior, but they're cool skins. Havoc is another OG one I see a lot of people use. He's really cool, along with Elite Agent. They're both good FNCS skins or basic skins. Dark Voyager has come back, Bright Gunner has come back, Zoe is another old one as well. And Wingman, I think, was one of the first um, store packs that you could buy. Valor, I think, was the original knockoff of Wonder Woman. We did finally get Wonder Woman, but I, uh, I never really used her because her hair looks kind of weird, but kind of a cool idea for a Battle Pass skin. Very neat and definitely reminiscent of Wonder Woman. Trailblazer, 
Some of these may have come back and been store items. Definitely the visitor was a battle pass skin. He was related to the story elements that we don't really get a lot of anymore. He was a, uh, he's a cool skin that I still see p people use today. There's all the variants now of the seven and the different visitor skins. Technique was one that I use quite a bit. Um, there was another spray paint based one that was early. Star Spangled Trooper just came back out probably in the shop now squad leader and some of the more military skins are battle pass omega i think was the one that i got all the armor pieces for but never got all the colors for i think his armor would light up or the the colors would change i never finished those out carbide i don't think had other colors but he had all of these he may have different eye colors i can't remember if you do let me know in the comments of course you had the original soccer skins that are sweat skins now chromium's come back Blue Striker was another PlayStation skin. He's alright, don't really use him all that often. As I said, a lot of these military skins were Battle Pass, Battle Hawk was, Bandolier's come back to the shop a few times. Obviously I said Bandolier, White Out, I think it's come back, the Ace, I think it's been there. Sunstrider might have been Battle Pass as well. She's kind of a cool summer skin. Sledgehammer was Battle Pass, and one of my favorites, Redline. I think this is a really clean skin and really cool and and it definitely is a good one for competitive moniker i think was a twitch drop but they eventually added another style it's kind of crazy but maybe a cool summer style he's a decent skin as well huntress i've used a lot when we get seasons based on kind of viking stuff fortune's cool i like her field surgeons come back a lot of people didn't like enforcer because of his pants i guess but I, don't know, I think he's cool obviously the original drift skin was battle pass and i unlocked all the stuff i wish his coat was a little smaller kind of a huge skin so when i use him i tend to go for like the fourth style or even the the first or second style i mean he's og he's a cool skin the rest of these like i said a lot of these have come back to the shop now time and time again instinct was rare for a while but she's since been back to the shop fable's a good battle pass one that a lot of ogs use she's still a pretty cool original red riding hood skin dusk might be a battle pass Dyer was definitely, and I, I love him because he's got the Karate Kid base skin that I, I use a lot, the Jonesy variant, and you can just change the, the different colors of his shirt. I really like this one. You could do the Michael Jackson thriller looking one too. Calamity's an OG skin. She's one of those with a early days reactive skin with some cool effects. You can change the color of her, the kind of smoke around her. Really neat skin. Let's see what else we got in here. Aim, not a lot of people use the robot skins. I use AIM from time to time, he's pretty cool. Uh, obviously the prisoner from the story elements, you also have the Ice King from the story elements, and I did unlock all the styles for the Ice King, including the gold variant. He's kind of big though. Goalie, onesie, like I said, a lot of these now are stuff that you've seen. Lynx is one of my favorites because she's so narrow and it's easy to see around when you're playing. For Sidewinder, Powder is a good one for winter, but let me know in the comments what you guys want to see, if you want to see more of these. Master Key is another one of my favorites. My one regret is I did not get the white variant. There's a white and gold variant of him that you had to do extra quests to get. Never did that, but I do still use him from time to time. Iconic was one of those you had to get from a Samsung phone, so I did get him. He's not bad. Pretty clean, small profile skin. Carbon Commando is another PlayStation. Blackheart would be good for right now with the Pirates of the Caribbean stuff coming out. I don't really use his final variants because they're kind of big, but... I do like, like, the stage two is pretty baller. I might bring him back out for the Pirates of the Caribbean stuff. And then you get into some of the newer stuff like Aura and the original Black Widow that everybody wanted for so long, so they finally bought back. Vendetta's cool. He's got the all the variants. I think even his base skin's really cool, but he's definitely got the futuristic robot outfit. A lot of people hate Vega, but I kind of like how basic she is and the color. Stratus was another Twitch skin, I believe. Rocks, Demi. But most of these, you guys just got to let me know in the comments if there's stuff you want to see out of my locker as I scroll through it. I do have a lot of them. Like I said, I did miss out on some because I started playing in Season 1 of Chapter 1, but then didn't really get hooked until about Season 3 of Chapter 1. So you see, I kind of have a gap in the skins I have. Some of my friends do have Renegade Raiders, stuff like that. I just wasn't into it in that one season. Anyways, that's kind of what I've got in here. If you guys have any requests for skins you want to see, let me know. I can certainly do more videos and go through them. 
if there's any other skins that that you wish you had or you'd like to see more of i'm definitely here for you guys so i'll talk to you next time